a lot of people have intellectual property in their businesses. You just don't know it and you're not getting the tax benefit for it. But he's going to tell us why it's so important to put a value on your IP and what are the benefits of doing that. So, Greg, I'm just so excited for today's episode. In the situation that we were in, they couldn't do much more than get us 50 cents on the dollar. But one of the strategies we use, we helped a city incorporate and they drew us within their zoning authority and one of those classic gerrymandered jurisdictional lines that you see in these political events. But if we had had access to those kinds of legal strategies when I was six, when we first shut down the ranch, then maybe we wouldn't have had to shut down the ranch. And like I said, it was the early 90s. One of the things that's interesting is in this transition from real estate and industrial properties to intellectual property, we're now seeing large amounts of businesses where by far the most valuable asset in their structure is their intellectual property. Computers can be replaced in many ways. Most of the employee group can be replaced. But the intellectual property, the, the strategy, the way that they interact with the world, the way that they solve the, the variety of hard problems that constitute their value proposition, that can't be replaced, or at least you have to actually replace it with something similar. Most incentive structures work, and you can get a certain amount of performance out of people motivating them with the threat of, I'm going to do this or I'll fire you. But you can't do that with your son. I want to fire my kids sometimes. My wife won't let me. We'll keep that between us, Kevin. We'll keep that between us. <laughs>